So early on in Rattlestar Rick Lactica, Rick and Morty are in space for what's going to be a long road trip. And Rick says he doesn't want to slow their progress by making any stops for bathroom breaks. Morty, be sure to pee before we go. This adventure's going to be a long haul, and I don't feel like emptying the jug. Jerry, will you please just let me automate this f***ing task? I didn't ask for any. Then we get a small punchline of how Rick, as an alcoholic super scientist, solved that problem. I need to pee. Nope. Here, I got a centipede you can swallow that makes you not have to go. I ain't swallowing no centipede. What, you think the centipede wants to eat your pee? You're not the victim in this transaction. Uh-oh, flat tire. How the hell do you get a flat tire in space, Rick? Obviously, now that was just one small punchline in a Rick and Morty episode, which is packed with punchlines. So I'm sure most viewers got a chuckle out of it and didn't think much of it, moved on. But it immediately sparked my attention. A pee-eating centipede that helps you to get drunk without having to go pee yourself. Nonsensical, yet oddly specific, don't you think? Well, as a fan of sci-fi film and history, especially the obscure corners of such, it caught my attention because I'd heard something like that before. Back in the 1980s Twilight Zone remake series. The 80s Twilight Zone is often overlooked, but actually it's really good. They had a lot of top-level sci-fi and horror writers and directors on the show, so they put out a lot of good episodes. But one I never forgot was called The Helgramite Method. In it, Timothy Bottoms plays a down-and-out alcoholic who's approached by a mysterious stranger who tells him about the Helgramite method for beating alcohol addiction. Cave them. Helgramite method. Cure for the problem drinker. I've had it. I can't take any more. Since Bottoms is about to lose his wife and probably his job, he decides to give it a try. I'm an alcoholic. Guess the bottom line is, what can you do about it? And I can help. I've yet to encounter a case that's beyond my help. The Helgramite method is unique. The old man tells him it's simple enough. Well, All he has to do is take this do? red pill. It's the first step in your treatment. You've been red pill. Wow, taking the red pill a decade before Neo. Oh well. What the hell? What have I gotta lose? Now, even though the guy's in dire straits, you can tell he's not very serious about quitting drinking. He's probably just doing this to get his wife to hold off from leaving him. But the old guy warns him. What the hell? What have I gotta lose? You're quite sure you want to quit drinking. I want you to understand that with this method, there's no turning back. Things couldn't get much worse. So he's like, yeah, 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 and takes the pill. And everything's fine until later when he's like, F this sobriety thing and hits the bar. No matter how many drinks he has or how many shots he takes, it doesn't matter. He can't get drunk. I never saw anybody drink that much and stay conscious. I don't feel a thing. This is nuts. He can't figure it out, but then it hits him. That red pill. It did something to him. So he rushes back to the old man for answers. I see you've been drinking, Mr. Judson. Just tell me what's going on. Well, as you recall, last night you... And the old man tells him what the Helgramite method so, really is. Have you ever heard of the Helgramite worm, Mr. Judson? What? No. Ah. Well, the capsule you swallowed last night contained a rare sort of tapeworm. The Helgramite larva. By now, the worm has attached itself to your stomach. Your drinking has stimulated its growth. A worm. Oh, God. You gotta be kidding. From now on, the Helgramite will absorb all the liquor you can consume. You won't feel any effect from drinking. You don't think I believe any of this, do you? Of course, Bottoms doesn't believe him, but the old man shows him what he has growing inside him right now. Seeing is believing.
Of course, this one's not yet fully grown. And if the Helgramite continues to grow, it'll become dangerous. Things in me. The pleasure of alcohol is over for you. No more buzz, Mr. Judson. No matter how much you drink, the worm will never be satisfied. And if ever you stop drinking, the pain will be excruciating. How could you do this to me? You did it to yourself. There's got to be something I can do. There is. What? Starve it into dormancy. How? Oh! Stop drinking. I stop drinking, I can stop it. It's dangerous. You might not live through it. And even if you succeed, the worm will always be waiting for you to drink oh. again. Every time the Helgramite is wakened from its dormant state, it comes back stronger. Oh. Eventually, strong enough to kill you. I think the Helgramite is getting thirsty, Mr. Johnson. Would you care for a drink to ease the pain? Oh. Or have you got the guts to stop? It's a good episode. If you're interested in classic sci-fi history, I'd recommend watching it. I think MeTV is currently airing 80s Twilight Zone episodes series, and I think that you can stream episodes of that on their website. Um, but actually, I found uh, this episode on YouTube, and so I'll include a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Please give a like and subscribe, and we'll see you here next time on Hero Journalism. Hey.